What is up everybody? I'm William with Engine PCs and today we're going to take a look at Team Group's Delta Gaming lineup. We have here Team Group's Delta RGB memory. This is a 16 gigabyte 3000 megahertz DDR4 kit and we also have their Delta RGB SSD. This is the 5 volt addressable model. Now both of these products are available in black and both were provided to us by Team Group and they were the centerpieces to our Nyoncat build. Now, we know the speed of the RAM, it's 3000 megahertz, and we've been at the peak of SATA 3 speeds for SSDs for quite some time, so I expect both these products to perform as intended. But I want to focus on something a little more fun, and it's a statement and question I hear all the time. Does RGB affect performance? Which is to say, does the heat generated by RGB produce a scenario where performance is hindered? Let's find out. Now, the origin of this question comes from the fact that LEDs produce heat, and in particular, RGB LEDs get quite toasty. And of course, computer components have heat thresholds. And we mainly have Kingston to thank for this. Because when they came out with their FuryX RGB SSD, particularly when set to white, it actually got so hot that it throttled and even had instability issues. Now, this is where I'm a little biased. That's Kingston. This right here, this is Team Group, and they've made a name for themselves making some of the craziest RGB products on the market today. So I'd like to think that their design team has come up with a solution that doesn't hinder performance, but there's only one way to find out. For testing, we're gonna keep this simple. We're gonna simply turn on Yoncat, and we're gonna run synthetic benchmarks. We're gonna run a 3D Mark, PC Mark, and Crystal Disk, all of which you can run at home so you can compare your system to this system here. We are running an 8086K, the 16 gigabyte of team group memory and their SSD along with a GTX 1080 Ti. So what we're gonna do is we're simply going to run all of these tests three times, get an average, and then what we'll do is we'll switch all the LEDs to white, which has the highest energy output and is gonna produce the most heat. We'll leave it on for at least 24 hours, run the test three times again, and then compare to see if there was any difference. Our testing platform, of course, is Nyoncat here, and I actually think he's the perfect worst case scenario for this test. In particular, the SSD is tucked up into this corner. There is no cool air blowing across it. In fact, it retains a lot of heat in that corner. And on top of that, there is no cool air blowing into Nyoncat at all. The intake has a radiator attached, so actually only hot air is blowing up inside of him. If it can survive here, it more than likely can survive any other scenario for you guys, which probably have an air-cooled system or at least some form of fresh, cool air blowing across the SSD and RAM. With our testing parameters and our test bed laid out, let's go ahead and get to the results. For the sake of time, I'm only gonna give you the final numbers. For those of you that like to see proof of everything you see here, there is a download link in the description to download screenshots of every single test. It's a long story short, it didn't make any statistically significant difference at all, which is to say that from our performance when we just turn on the computer when it's nice and cool, to leaving it on for 24 hours at the RGB LEDs at their hottest setting made no difference in performance. If you look at PC mark, you'll see an increase in 2.7%, and for time spy, you'll see a decrease in 0.53%, but I wouldn't read too deeply into those numbers whatsoever, and I'm sure as our sample size would have increased, we'd have gotten much closer to that half a percent difference between the two of them. If we focus on SSD performance, we do note essentially the exact same pattern. Now, the one thing to note here is take a look at the Q1 T1 performance. You'll see that there was a 6.74% decrease in performance. Now, this was caused by an outlier in the results. If I remove that outlier, it actually goes to a positive 1.25%, which is much more in line with everything we see after our 24 hour testing. I did calculate the statistical significance of these results and it did state that those three to 4% that we see were caused by random chance, which is to say that there is no difference whatsoever between the first results of our baseline and then after the 24 hours of testing. Now, the one thing to note too here is that these varying results of that three to 4% and even that minus 7%, this is in the 4KB sector, which is something that Windows uses often. And remember, this is our boot drive. So the variances here are really just caused by whatever Windows happened or was not doing at the time these results were taken. So ultimately, I can confidently say that no, RGB does not affect the performance of Team Group's RGB Delta Series products. 
which is to ultimately say this, you get the performance you're paying for from their products regardless of what RGB color you choose for them. I know that I only ran the test for 24 hours, but 24 hours is plenty of time for that product to heat soak all that heat from the white LEDs to the actual SSD board. Plus, keep in mind, this is a worst case scenario. There's no fresh air blowing into this case. It's all hot and there's no air movement across this SSD. Lastly, for those of you interested in overclocking, I did overclock the memory kit we received, which again was a 3000 megahertz kit. I easily got it up to 3700 megahertz at 1.4 volts at 17, 19, 19, 39 timings. Now I did not subject this overclock kit to that same 24 hour testing period to see if the heat from the LEDs made a difference. And here's why. Ultimately, it doesn't matter. When you are playing the overclocking game, it's the silicone lottery that you are submitting to. And even if heat for some reason made a difference in like your top overclock, again, it doesn't matter. You bought from Team Group a 3000 megahertz kit and that's what they sold you. That's what they have to guarantee. And it can run at 3000 megahertz without RGB being a problem at all whatsoever. And it does so with flying colors. Now that's it for our review today. Sponsorship aside, I wanted to leave you with our two cents. If you are tired like us of seeing the exact same Trident Z RGB memory over here or Corsair RGB memory over there, check out Team Group. In fact, we own two more kits that we bought outright. We own their Excalibur kit and Nighthawk kit. And then of course, we now have the sponsored Delta kit. That makes for our three kits and that's almost more variants than you see online on many other builds. So if you really want your build to stand out, go ahead and check Team Group out. They got a bunch of great different designs and we're even going to continue using them for our workstation builds. They do offer ECC memory as well. On top of that, they're very interactive with the PC modding community and their marketing team has been extremely nice to us. So I wanted to thank them for making this video and Yoncat possible. Thank you for watching. Take care.